uh, just accept the recording. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the much awaited role play contest. Okay. I welcome all the judges, all the parents who are here to watch and uh, all the students as well who are just come to encourage our kids. Thank you so much. All right. And before we start with the actual role play, I thought it will be fun to have a nice game. What do you all say? Yeah. Everyone's ready for a game. If you want to play the game, give me a thumbs up. Yes, miss. Okay, wonderful. All right. So the game is very simple. You all are doing English with us, right? So do you all know what are superlatives? Who will tell me what are superlatives? Yes, uh, Chitraksh. Mom, it's like a word which you need to, like it's big. So... In one more word will be like bigger and super lady will be biggest. Yes, so biggest, right? S towards or most, most beautiful. So don't worry, we don't have an English lesson today. But we have a game which is called as, let me quickly share my screen and show it to you. Okay, superlative scavengers. All right, I think I'll choose another way of sharing my screen. Wait. All right. Okay. So superlative scavengers, any idea what this will be? You have to find from your house, okay, the est thing, which is it could be anything. All right. I'll give you all the clue and that is what you have to find. For example, the biggest. Okay. Or the smallest or something like that. Okay. So are you all ready to run around into your around your houses and find the things? Yeah, ready? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, okay, ma good. For this, I need all your cameras on, okay? Because when you find the thing, you show it on the screen. All right, ready? I'm not going to share my screen for this because I want to see you all. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you all. So the first thing that you have to find is from your house, the sweetest. Come on, go and find the sweetest. Ah, okay. Trinity has already got you it on the camera. Ma'am, the sweetest. Ma'am, oh, the sweetest. Oh, how sweet. Ma'am, like the sweetest. Okay. And the sweetest. So I can see someone's mom. I can see chocolates. I can see mango. <laughs> I can see a toffee. What else? What about the what about the judges? We saw on, judges. mummy. Ma'am, we saw mummy the sweetest. <laughs> yes, that, I think that was a very creative answer. Well done. Uh, and yes, sugar. Yeah, honey. Very good. Very good. Sugar. Well done. Okay, the next one. Keep it aside. Keep it aside. Ready for the next one? Yes, the tiniest. Tiniest. Okay, let's see whose is the tiniest. I can see a pencil, eraser, a small toy, a small bottle, a small, okay, a peg. And that's a crayon. Okay, Shreyas, what is that? A bullet? Uh, it's type of a uh, revolver's gun, like a toy. Ah, okay, okay, small. Okay, I think that's the smallest which Dhruv has. It's a paper clip. It's the, it's the tiniest out of it. All right. Okay, good job. Now the next one. Ready? The pinkest. The pinkest. Pink. Okay, Ali, is that pink or purple? That is ah, a pink nice. purple. Okay, I have yellow. some. I have some compass boxes. I have a small pouch, a small sitting chair kind of thing and I have some bottle and uh, it's an eraser or a phone. Okay, good. Nice. Okay. No, the pinkest, Chitra. The pinkest, okay? That was... All right. Fine, good. We put it away. The next one. The weirdest. What do you have in your house which is like the weirdest thing? Oh, what is that? 
Miss, what did you do? The weirdest. The weirdest. Miss, it's a lantern with the chocolates inside. Oh, okay, that's nice. Drew has a ball which is torn. Okay, it's a torn ball. Okay, nothing more weirder than that. Okay, it's a it's a bottle which is wrapped like a mummy. Okay, it's a broom. That's a panda purse. Okay, all right. Not completely in the alley of weirdest, but good enough. All right, next one. Let's have the last two. Okay, last two. The most expensive. Maisha, what is that? An amethyst. Wow, an amethyst. Okay, the fo Apple phone. Okay, phones. All right. The tab. The phone and the tab. And okay, earrings. Nice. The TV. Okay. Yeah, TV has to be. All right, good. I think I like that. The Okay, it's a crystal turtle. Okay, earrings. Very good. And the last one, are you all ready? Yes, softest. What, ma? The softest. Come on, I, I wish the others also participate. Okay, it's a blanket and a pillow. Pillow, a teddy. All right. Okay, good. I think so. Ah, that's a nice red teddy. That's nice. A pillow. Blue color pillow, all teddies and pillows, right? Okay, lovely. I I I enjoyed the fact that you all still play with teddies. It's really good. Okay, all right, good. Uh, thank you for participating. I hope you all enjoy it. Did you guys enjoy the game? Okay. Yes, miss. I enjoyed yes, it. Miss. All right. Okay, great. So I think now, without further ado, let's start uh, today's role play contest and i would like to hand it over now to chitraksh okay to introduce the contest and everything so chitraksh i'll spotlight you and go ahead chitraksh over to you dear parents teachers, judges, and my dear friends. I welcome you all to the much awaited role play contest of Active Kids. Young Achievers Clubs, we, we are extremely excited to perform in front of you all. Yeah. Front of you all. Today, we are going to bring you two amazing role plays revolving around the theme of fantasy and magic. The judges will reward the best play and the best performance. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin the show. I, I hand it over to mom to take it forward. Thank you, Chitraksh, for that uh, welcome address. And now I hand it over to Maisha, who is going to introduce our judges. Maisha, over to you. Taranum Sheikh Ma'am is the founder of Active Kids. She is a writing and communication coach and a teacher at heart who loves to help children become their best version and inspires them to learn in a fun, play playful environment. Dhruv Lachwani is a year 5 student in Gem Winchester School, Dubai. He is passionate about electric cars and considers Elon Musk as his role model. Anthea Pereira, Anthea, Anthea is in grade seven. Anthea is a grade seven student. She was the winner of Intra Club Extempo contest. She is passionate about writing and loves to exp express herself creatively. Shreyas Chakravarti, Shreyas is a grade seven student studying in RBK International School. He is passionate about drama and creative plays. Now I would invite the judges to say a few words. 
ma'am is it my turn to speak ma'am yes you can speak. sorry ma'am for interrupting just 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 one minute yeah one second right all right um, ma'am ma can we go ahead Am yes order? yes please go ahead great thank you so much right thank you uh, ms tasneem and uh, maisha for that wonderful introduction for all our, our panel of judges children let me tell you i'm super delighted to be amid sir to you um it gives me pleasure to be to judge you but uh, believe me um if you win there's you know we are going to be super happy to uh, bring that talent uh, forefront uh, which is acting which is drama which is creativity so all packed in one yes we are really ambitious and passionate to to showcase uh, this talent on this at this platform i'm sure you've been uh, painstakingly working to uh, show us the outcome which we are going to see here today uh, and uh, i'm really grateful to miss tasneem for that efficient training which has gone into it the planning which has gone into it to bring this talent to the forefront so miss tasneem thank you very much for that and um, thank you for having me here and my team of little students judges who are uh, very 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 um, excited to um, see and judge the talent which we have here present uh, in this meeting today children before i uh, hand it over to my uh, efficient team i would just like to say one thing uh, during the course of my journey as a teacher i've seen that um, one thing which always always works and that is going to be planning if you plan you are never going to fail yeah so if you do what all i want to say is i've seen children that they are excited they want to do it their best but what is missing is the planning the rehearsal right uh, all that packed in one if you are going to be if you are prepared that means you have rehearsed your lines you have put in effort efforts to bring the best to everyone okay so that planning is never going to let you fail even if you fail it's okay because that's the stepping stone to success right so after the the end of this uh, uh, contest when we are going to announce different um, uh, best role players here um all, all i want to say is don't get disheartened uh, because you have given your best you have put in efforts and planned to come up till here that is, itself is a, is a victory in itself so uh, be happy and just just enjoy the journey of public speaking because it is super super exciting and it's going to be help is going to help you for sure in your future right so on that note i would like to uh, call um, i mean any one of you to take over anthea judge too would you like to share a few words good morning everyone i am so happy to be here for this event very excited to watch your performance as you don the hat of an actor actress all i want to say is try your best and have fun as a team because at the end of the day it's not about winning it's about how much effort you put into it so all the best and have a good time all right can we hear it from dhruv um, now thank you and hey, ma'am oh sorry yeah go ahead dhruv you can say um, something good morning everyone um and I am really excited for today's contest because I'm I'm getting to be a judge for the first time, and good luck everyone, and have fun. Thank you, Dhruv. Shreyas, would you like to say a few words? Oh, hello everyone. I'm Shreyas Chakravarti. I'm in grade seven, and my school name is Seventh Square Academy. So yeah, uh, I I want to say that I'm very happy to be the judge of this event, and personally, I like. role playing very much and i am very excited to see you all doing this role play so all the best everyone let's rock thank you thank you so much uh, all the judges for sharing such inspirational words and uh, encouraging our students um and i think we let's just you know jump right in um and i call upon uh participants of the first role play Uh, the narrator is going to introduce uh, the first role play to you all and then we will just uh, start all right so participants are you all ready participants of the yes, first role play okay judges are you all ready with uh, your attention and your score sheets all right 
Okay, wonderful. Maisha, uh, I hand over the. I'm sorry to interrupt. There is some uh, disturbance with the audio. I guess is it from Ali and uh, her, her his parent connecting from the same in the same room? Ali, can you ask your mummy to dis uh, to disconnect the audio because this is going to interrupt the play? Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. This is the sound. Uh, Ali, can you mute? Uh, I don't know who's. Is it from? Uh, it's from Ali's. Uh, yeah, it's from Ali and uh, Mr. Sima. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Fine. Uh, Maisha, take it forward. The title of our first play is "My First Hundredth Halloween." Let me introduce the characters. Esmeralda, played by Aradhya Tathare, May, Esmeralda's sister. Played by Divyanshi Shetty, June Esmeralda's nephew, played by Ali Siddiqui, and the narrator, which is me, Maisha Kivansara. Scene one: Esmeralda is in her bedroom sleeping. May enters and tries to wake up Esmeralda. Esmeralda, Esmeralda, wake up! Hmm. Where am I? What time is it? You move, and it's almost midnight. Come on, get up. I feel sick. My head hurts a lot. Yes, it's because of all the potion you drank last night. Last night? What happened last night? Don't you remember? No, I can hardly remember my name. Last night you celebrated your first hundred birthday, Bianchi. Esmeralda tries to get out of bed, but almost falls to the floor. Then she sits on the bed. I feel dizzy. I need a mirror. Oh, brings her a mirror. Oh, I'm terribly ugly. <laughs> I'm feeling better now. You're the scariest witch in the haunted forest, dear Andy. You should be proud of yourself. Ah, oh, thank you. How do you feel now that you are hundred years old? I feel wonderful, especially because I look so ugly, and children are terrified when they see me. You, you're lucky to celebrate your birthday on Halloween day. Oh yes, I am. I feel sorry for poor grandma. She's more than a thousand years old. Me too. As she ages, she gets prettier and prettier. No one is afraid of her. Now, kids, instead of running away from her, they want to hug her. Poor grandma, I really don't want to be in her shoes. Neither do I. I don't want to get younger. Oh, that must be terrible. Esmeralda keeps looking at herself in the mirror. Look at me! I'm really, really ugly. Don't you think so? Yes, Andy, and your hair makes you look awful too. Let me see your crown. What crown? Here, you still have it on. Esmeralda reaches for her head, and she feels a crown. She takes it off. Ah, oh, no wonder I have a headache. But it's so ugly. I love it. But where did it come from? You want it, remember? Jack Skeleton crowned you as Miss Halloween. Really? Was there a contest at my party? Yes, you won it because you are the ugliest witch of all. After the contest, everybody danced, including the vampires, mummies, witches, werewolves, skeletons, and even the ghosts. It was really fun. It was the best birthday party in the whole world. You also danced with the headless vampire. Oh yes, that I remember. I think it was really 
boring. He didn't even talk. By the way, who brought us back home? The vampires. They dropped us and went back, flying to the castle to get their coffins inside before daylight. Oh, I'm so hungry. Ooh, I have a surprise brunch for you. May leaves and comes back with the magic cake. Surprise! I have brought this chili blood bone cake from the graveyard daylight cake shop. Ah, oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. Our pleasure. We don't celebrate a hundred birthday every day. Let's keep having fun. Where are we going? We are going to the cemetery. It is the coolest place for a party. Wow! Let's fly. Bye bye. They mount their broomsticks and leave. The end. All right. Thank you, participants of play one. Uh, the judges, you can take some time to mark uh, role play one and the participants. The participants of role play two, please get ready. All right, judges, uh, let me know when you all are ready. Okay. Uh, judges two, three, and four, are you all ready? All right, great. So let's start. Um, the narrator is going to introduce the second role play to you all and the uh, participants. The title of our next play is the smart portion. Now let me introduce the characters. Chester, played by Chitrak Shetty. Alice. Alice, played by Trinity Francis, which Marilyn and Mr. Emmett, both played by Muhammad Ayub. And the narrator, which is me, once again, Maisha Kivansara. Scene 1. Chester and Alice stand outside which Marilyn's hut, a bit scared. Please unmute yourselves, all the participants, and all the best. Have fun. This place gives me the creeps. Are you sure you want to go in? I have to. I have no other choice. Yes, you do. We can leave. No, she's my only hope. Chester knocks at the door. The witch opens the door. Come in. I was waiting for you. Chester and Alice enter. They look scared. Don't be scared. I won't eat you. We are not scared. We know witches don't eat children. Sometimes we do. <laughs> do you have the magic potion? If you have the money. I have the pole. Yes, I have it. Give it to me, then I'll give you your potion. Chester takes the money out of his pocket and gives it to which Marilyn. 
which Marilyn takes from a shelf, a bottle with a purple liquid, and gives it to Chester. Here you go. Now I have. Now I have to warn you. Only drink a small amount and just the day you need to. Understand? I think so. Good. Remember, the effect will last only for a few hours. Now leave before I decide to cook you. <laughs> Come on, Alice, let's go. Chester and Alice leave. Scene two. The students are in class. They have a test. Uh, they have a test and a pencil on their desks. Mr. Emmett is at his desk. Is everything all right? I suppose so. Actually, no. I feel weird. What's wrong? My body aches. My mouth is dry. My head hurts and my heart is beating fast. Maybe you're just nervous. Did you study? Of course not. Chester, you were supposed to study. What for? The magic potion will make me smart. What if it doesn't work? You'll flunk the test. I will not. That's what the potion is for. Did you drink it as the witch told you to? No, I drank it all. What? Are you crazy? No wonder you're not feeling well. This is the last test and I won't need it anymore. And besides, I didn't want to waste my money. She warned us to follow the instructions. Just relax. Nothing bad will happen. You will see. I hope so. Silence, everybody. You have 30 minutes to complete the test. Good luck, Chester. This time, I will ace it. You will see. You may start your test now. Mr. Emmett sits at his desk. The students start to answer the test. Chester talks to himself in a low voice. Wow, this test is so easy. It's like a kindergarten test. What is taking them so long? I already finished. That potion really worked. He stands up and takes the test over to Miss Emmett. Finished already? He looks at the test and opens his mouth in surprise. He looks at Chester. Are you feeling all right? You look a little pale. I'm feeling all right. All right, you can leave. See you tomorrow, Miss Emma. Wait for Ellie me, Chester. Ellie stands up. Wait for me, Chester. Goodbye, Miss Emma. Yes, Mr. Emmett. Goodbye, Mr. Emmett. Scene three. At Chester's house in the bedroom, Ellie sits at a desk. She is holding the empty potion bottle. Chester is in the bathroom. Alice is trying to read the directions on the bottle. Hmm, these letters are so small. Chester, do you have a magnifier? It's in the left drawer. Alice opens the drawer and takes out a magnifier. Let's see. Drink me only as directed. Do not overdose me or you'll become a... Oh my God, Chester, are you all right? I don't think so. I still can't believe you drank all the potion. Chester gets out of the bathroom. He looks, he's all purple. Chester, what happened to you? You look like a monster. I know. You're all purple. 
It's all because of drinking too much potion. At least it made me smart. Smart? You're an idiot. You didn't do what my witch Marilyn told you to. You didn't even read the label. What label? This label, you silly. Oh, no. Alice touches Chester's hair and nose. Your hair, it's purple. Your nose, it's purple. And your eyes are much smaller. Oh, no. What are we going to do now? We? What are you going to do now? I don't know. Okay, let's just wait for a few hours. Maybe tomorrow you'll be normal again. What if I'm not? Don't worry, the effect won't last forever. Normal intelligence, right? Right, next time. I'll study for the test. Yeah. Well, I will try to sleep. Maybe I will be myself again when I wake up. Good. See you tomorrow. And I hope your mother doesn't see you. I hope so too. So long. Ellie sleeps. Chester lies in bed and covers himself with a blanket. Next time, I will follow the instructions. Read the label. Who said that? That's the end of it, folks. Thank you for watching. Thank you, participants of the role play too. Well done, both the role plays. Uh, judges, please take some time to mark them. Miss, uh, was that creepy voice loud enough today? Yes, it was loud enough. Because I... in my breakfast time, I was trying to make it louder, so it became loud. Very good. Good job. Okay, uh, so judges will just take a few minutes to um, yeah. mark role play too. And uh, uh, judges, do you all want me to put you all in a breakout room so that you all can deliberate and come up with uh, a result? Okay. Wait, why isn't this muted? muted. Uh, Ma'am, did you get a notification to join? The others have joined. Okay, just just a minute. No problem. I'll do it manually. Yeah. All right. So we have the audience and the parents here who have witnessed the role play. Uh, parents, would you like to share a few words? Um, anybody wants to share a few words about uh, how did they like the performances of their children? Students, maybe someone who would like to say a few words about their students or, or, or uh, the audience would like to say something. Anyone? Yes, uh, Fatima, ma'am. Like to say something? Hi, how are you? I'm good, ma'am. Yeah, how are you? I would like to. Good, good. I would like to extend my gratitude to Active Kids and her team, especially you, Mr. Seema. I've been seeing you. How well you know you've been working with children effortlessly. Thank you so much for all that you've done. Now coming back to this kit and the children's performance, I appreciate and admire their confidence. 
I mean, in such such very such short span of time, I've seen children do so well. I was away. I wasn't close with Ayu or, or I haven't put in any effort, you know, as much as I should have done. But then it's all the effort from your end. So a big thank you to you. A big thank you to Active Kids for giving this platform for the children to perform and showcase their potential. Thank you so much, ma'am, for those kind words. I think uh, any encouragement from you guys tells us that we are on the right path. And, you know, of course, we are all trying our best. But I think this time the students really went out of their way, put in their effort for the costumes and, you know, re remembering their lines, the props and all of that. I think Ayub did a really good job, even though he had a small role, but he, it was quite impactful. Well done, Ayub. Thank you. Yes. Uh, participants, you all want to say something? How did you all feel about today? I must say I'm very proud of you all, okay? But you all want to share something? Who wants to share something? Yes, Chitraksh. Mom, like when we were about to start our, our role play, I was... I was a little bit of nervous because I was thinking what will happen if like I will I will stop in between and then so that's why I was nervous but when we were and then when we started our role play then I think it's nothing I should be confident and then I speak as I can. Absolutely absolutely there's nothing to be nervous. you all have done a really good job yes Ayo what would you like to say? Firstly, in when I was doing that, uh, I thought I was feeling a little nervous. What if it shows your connection is unstable in the my mom's laptop? Then uh, I was trying to keep as confident as possible. I mean, it did glitch a little bit of times, but after that, it became perfect. And I it felt good. Good, good. No, I think um, I think all of us faced technical issues at some point in time and that should definitely not yeah. dawn on us while we are performing right because I know some of these things can you know yes, throw us off our game it can you know you can you can feel a little um, you know like uh, flustered that you know what do I do now no one can hear me or something so it can happen and it's not in our hands to control sometimes it is but most of the time, while it's going on during the play, you cannot do anything about it. So I think we should just not let it bog us down. And instead, you should continue performing. And, uh, you know, if you're doing a good job, even if there's a few glitches here and there, everyone can see that, you know, you are doing your job. So yeah. it's fine. Not a problem. Yes, Aradhya, what would you like to um, say? When can I say the vote of tanks? No, no, that will be later. Okay. After the judges come in, they speak to you all, and uh, then afterwards we might have some parents again talking to us, and then after that we will do the vote of thanks. Okay. Anybody else would like to share yes, what they felt? So that you will say to change the name. Oh yes, actually, I uh, I think I missed that. I should have told you all to uh, change the name. I I missed it. That's true. I decided to change, but then the no problem. Was... It's fine. I think that did not affect. I think it went very fast, and I miss telling you all to change the name. I realized it immediately, but then I couldn't stop you all in the middle of the role play. So then again, I couldn't do it for the second role play because I didn't do it for the first one, right? No problem. Did that didn't matter? Don't worry. Okay, you did a good job. Maisha, how was your experience being the narrator? Ma'am, at first I was very nervous because I thought I couldn't do it. And then when I started speaking, I felt better. Good, yeah. It always happens with all of us. Anybody had butterflies in their stomach at the start? All of you, I'm guessing, no? Ah, yes, it happens when we are. When I was small, when I went on the stage for the first time, I was very nervous. I was like, I thought, when will this end, you know? But uh, once you start, then you start enjoying yourself. This, and you guys enjoyed, right? We enjoyed the rehearsals also. Isn't it? Trinity, would you like to say something? No? Nothing? How did you feel? Come on. How did you feel doing this, uh, doing Elise? 
I felt a bit nervous in the start but when the judges were taking time. That time it was just like almost the start of our play and that was the scariest part of the play. Okay, so the, when the play had not started, that was the scariest part. So that's good, right? Because during the play, you were not scared then. You're pretty confident. So good this job. Was, I was also nervous and then I practiced the role play twice. Then I means I become confident that, that nothing is going to be wrong. Yes, Divyanshi, you were much better than what you did in the rehearsals. And even the when you showed the cake and you said, ooh, I have a surprise for you, you did that. You came close to the screen and you said that, ooh, so that was very good. Yes. Okay. So I'm glad that you followed whatever I tried to show you all and stuff. Ali, how did you feel? It was good. Only thing that I was worried about my costume. Uh, no, but your costume was fine. No problems at all right and ali your mama uh, i hope that she's there and uh, i will ask her to say a few words when the judges yes are i'm there yeah. i'm there mr sneem yeah all right yes ma'am so uh, once the judges are in then i'm going to you know ask a few parents what they felt and please share whatever you all, all right said. all right all right yes aradhya ma'am i felt felt like First, I was uh, feeling like, what if I forgot my dialogues? And after then, like, see, I, I practiced and come, so still I was feeling like it. But after then, uh, when, we, when I came in the middle part of the dialogue, uh, I forgot the nervousness. Um, you know, even if you were nervous, Aradhya, I don't think anybody felt that you were nervous. Did you all think Aradhya was nervous? We didn't feel that at all. Mm. Right from the start, you were, you know, at 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 the game. So, and I think uh, w the amount of time we have spent in preparing really helps, isn't it? We have been practicing right from the start, except for the new students who came in. Uh, I have to appreciate you all came in a little late, but still, you know, you all pulled it off very well. Uh, but the students who have been with me, I think we have been practicing this since February. <laughs> right. So we had ha we had had like a good amount of time to practice it. And I think that really showed because you all were quite confident with your dialogues, with each small expression. I think you all uh, really did a good job. Yeah. Miss, we were practicing this role play from April and then we decided that this role play will come in May. Yes. Ma'am, uh, yes. Yes, my son. Prizes, how many people are going to get prizes? Uh, that or that, uh, I think I'll leave to the judges to decide. They will decide based on the performance, who they want to give and all of that, okay? Um, I would like some of our students also who joined in to witness the show. Please let us know how, what did you all think of it? And, uh, you know, if you'll have any suggestions for our students, because you all have done it before. So if you guys have any suggestions or something, you can share with us. We have some students, right? With us, Aisha and Tiana. Who else is there? Yeah, we have we have a few participants. So anyway, at any point in time, you'll feel like you'll want to share something with the with with participants. You'll feel that you know there was something which they could have done better, or you know a small tip that you'll want to give. Anybody wants to give, even our, even the participants. If you'll feel you'll want to share something with each other, if you'll want to appreciate somebody else's performance, or if you want to you know share some advice, you'll can go ahead and do that. Okay, so what do you all want to do? Want to play a game? Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Buzz, let's play Buzz. Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so some maths practice, okay? So Buzz today will be four times table. Everybody knows four times table? Yes, no, ma'am. That's so easy. Okay, good. I'll tell you all what Buzz is. Okay, I'm going to put... Uh, whoever are the participants whoever wants to participate please put your cameras on 
All right. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven participants. All right. And after every four numbers, you have to say buzz instead of four. So it will be one, two, three, buzz, five, six, seven, buzz. Okay. If you say the number instead of buzz, you're out. Understood the game? Okay. So yes, I'll just pause. Number in four table, we don't have to say that. Yes, you don't have to say the four times table. Okay. Understood? Uh, okay. Man? Yeah. Uh, like if you say the answer, then you're out. But you, uh, in, instead of the answer, you have to say buzz. Yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. So unmute yourselves, everyone. And we'll start with Ayub. Are you? We have to start with one. Okay. Four ones equal buzz. No, only, only, only one. One. Oh, okay. And then Aradhya will say two. One. Two. Buzz. Divyanshi. Three. Buzz. Five. Eighty. Six. Ali. Seven. Ali said seven is on mute. Ayub. Eight. Ah, you don't have to say eight. What do you have to say? Buzz. Sorry. Buzz. <laughs> Aradhya. After Ayub is Aradhya. Okay. Nine. Ten. Uh, Maisha. Well, I have to do this a little fast. Uh, Ali, can you remove your earphones and talk directly? That was the problem today. I realized it now. If you don't put in your earphones, I think it's better. Yeah, this is noise. Is... Yes. Okay. You're 14, right? Ali is 14. Yes. 14. 15. No, yes. Ayub is still playing. Ayub is still playing. 15, Ayub. Oh, buzz. Miss, I can't hear because of the. It's when your connection is unstable. So I don't know what are you guys saying. Oh, okay. All right, fine. Um, I, everybody can hear me or y'all can't hear me? I can't hear you. I'm telling you. Okay. So let's start with 15 from Ayub. Buzz. 15, Ayub. Miss yeah. already said buzz. But 15 is not four times table. Okay, no problem. He's saying 16. Okay, so he said buzz. Then Aradhya. 17. 18. 19. Buzz. 21. 22. Ayub. For twenty-three. Buzz. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Buzz. Twenty-eight. Out. I'm out. You're out of the game. Yeah, there's twenty-eight in four times table. You have to say yes. twenty-nine. So Ayub will start twenty-nine. Come on, Ayub, twenty-nine. You have to say. 29. 30. 31. Buzz. 33. 34. 35. Buzz. 37. 38. 39. Buzz. 41. Okay, let's end the game here. All right. Yes, ma'am, we are we are back. So uh, yes, judges are judges are here.
Okay. All right. So everybody, uh, we have something from the judges for you all. Um, I would like to invite Tanu ma'am to um, announce the winners and also say what she felt about uh, the contest in general. Tanu ma'am, over to you. Thank you, ma'am. Children, you were so great. It was amazing. I never knew the theme is Halloween, else I would have dressed up like a witch. Honestly, <laughs> you all were super good. Believe me, we really had a great time. Uh, I wish we were offline so we could see you all on stage, you know, performing physically there because you all were so good. Excellent job by done by everyone. Narrator, you were there in both the plays and you did so well. All the all our role players, all the witches and wizards and all the different roles what you played, we thoroughly enjoyed it. Very well trained by Tasneem, ma'am. Can we can we give a shout out to ma'am? Everyone? Yeah, <laughs> for her able guidance and all the hard work what she puts. And parents, uh, thank you very much for being here. I guess we missed, um, I missed welcoming you in the start. So thank you for your time. Let me tell you, this is just a, a, a beginning to what your children are going to become in the near future. We are, we are, we are training them and build, building that base and making it really strong so that we can see that your child you know being groomed and you know we show that progress to you and see where we take your child in the near future so thank you miss fatima uh, miss preeti uh, miss asima uh, miss uh, trinity uh, trinity's mom uh, miss brighty um, and i think all our parents are covered yeah chitraksh's mom so thank you parents for for coming i think i'm not going to take more time my judges are going to announce the result so over to anthea so we had an amazing time looking at all your performances and your role plays and I'm going to be announcing the superlative performer this is done on the basis of how engaging you are how entertaining you are how engaged your audience were and how your body language was so any guesses okay it is Aradia Superlative okay. performer of our session, Aradhya Tatre. Congratulations. Congratulations, Aradhya. Well done. Thank you, ma'am. Next, can we have Groove announce the next um, uh, winner, please? Groove? Um, yeah. Once again, good morning, everyone. Um, first of all, I would like to thank Mr. Can you adjust your camera, darling, please? Yeah, Mr. Can you try your face? Yes. Yes. Um, once again, good morning, everyone. So, firstly, I would like to thank Ms. Anna for letting me a for letting me be a judge in today's contest. And it doesn't really matter if you win or lose. Um, but because I really enjoyed something in everyone's performance, so now I'm going to announce the outstanding di dialogue delivery. Um, drum rolls, please. And it is Muhammad Ayub. Congratulations. Oh, are you for outstanding dialogue delivery. So the criteria was volume, pitch, tone, and the vocal variety. So are you congratulations. You did a great job at dialogue delivery. We learned a lot from you. Well done. Congratulations, are you well done? Thank you, Miss. <laughs> okay, so can we have Shreyas who is going to announce the terrific team? Which team is going to get this? grab this title. Shreyas, over to you. Whoa, it was a super califragilistic experience, experience with you all. I really enjoyed this evening with all you, with all you. So last but not the least, it's time for terrific team. So any guesses? Uh, drum roll. It's group one so congratulations group one. congratulations congratulations group one and well done group two we loved the the message you gave us with your play the smart portion yes we don't need any portion to be smart yeah we just need to work hard and smart thank you so much yeah ma'am over to you like you can take the proceeding ahead 
yes uh, so i would just like to thank uh, everyone for joining in uh, especially the audience that we have and the parents who are here to encourage our students i think they performed better because you all were there so i think a little bit of a credit goes to you guys as well uh, parents anybody would like to share a few words um you know once again i know a few parents did uh, interact with me during uh, the judges proceedings were going on but please uh, share it again if you like to anybody what would like to share what they want to say about the kids here or anyone anyone else maybe the students asima ma'am uh, yes mr sneem i am there Yes, ma'am. Would you like to say what you? How did you like uh, today's uh, event, and what did you think of the kids here? Um, I would first of all like to congratulate uh, each and every one of them for their hard work, the uh, effort that you have put in, Ms. Tasneem, in training our kids. And uh, Ali is otherwise. I would like to put this across to you that Ali has never spoken. It's the first time I have uh, actually uh, seen him speak so extrovertly. You know, he's otherwise a very quiet child. In school, the teachers say that he doesn't speak. He doesn't. Um, uh, you know, uh, once he has got, he had got a very talkative partner, and he got so irritated with that, uh, uh, you know, girl, that uh, I had to intervene and tell the teacher to change the place because he does not like to speak so much. So that's the first time um, Ali has spoken on uh, stage, um, uh, and uh, I'm so proud of him. And uh, I hope that um, uh, he becomes a good speaker one day. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Asima, ma'am. We never felt that he was uh, an uh, introvert before. Uh, since the time that he has joined the class, he has always participated, and uh, I'm proud of what he did today. So this is something new that you know you have told me. Yes, but he's basically done. right from his childhood. He has been an introvert child, and. Uh, doesn't like speaking much. He doesn't express himself much. But this is the first time I actually seen him speak up. You know, speak up on stage with those uh, expressions and with those uh, eye contacts. Uh, it was really uh, a surprise for me. And uh, he practiced it on its on his own. He never allowed me to take up his practice. But uh, I think I'm um, really proud of him, and he's done a great job. Uh, thanks to you. And Mr. Anum, thank you so much. Well Wonderful. done, Ali. Thank we got so to know much. a little secret about you, but you did so well. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well done, all of you, all the participants. Uh, thank you so much. But uh, for extending a formal vote of thanks, I would uh, hand it over to Ayub. Uh, Ayub, over to you. Yes, Mr. Uh, give me a second. I'm just going. Um, uh, many people are typing in the chat. <laughs> what? Hi. I think oh. candidness is uh, a, an asset uh, for you as yeah. well as a small liability. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, miss, I'm having a problem with this. Yeah. Mm, there we go. Yeah. On behalf of all the students of Active Kids Young Achievers, I would like to thank. Uh, I would like to thank our judges for coming and giving us an opportunity to perform in front of you all. All parents and students for coming to cheer for us, encouraging us and putting our best foot forward. Our teacher for enabling us to perform interesting characters and last but not the least, our classmates with whom we had such fun performing. Thank you for being a part of this event and making a resounding success. Have a wonderful afternoon ahead. Thank you so much, Ayub. Uh, and uh, everyone, please switch on your cameras. I would like to take a quick selfie of all of us looking like this in our characters. All the judges, all the pa uh, parents, everybody, please. Switch on your cameras, all the audience, all of you. I would love audience, to Aisha, capture Kiana. this memory. Great. All right, ready? One, two, three, smile.
All right, that's done. Thank you so much, Shrinithi. I like the fact that you're holding your prop in your hand. I think that's congrats, quite children, symbolic. once again to all of you. Keep up the good work. Bye. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you so bye, much. Uh, children, bye -bye. From, okay, one second, ma'am. Aisha, Shreyas, Anthea, others can stay. Yeah, my bad children can stay through. Aisha, everyone, the rest can leave. Ma'am, I'd like to use this meeting. We have a class. Okay, sure, sure. All right. So everybody, please exit. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye, Thank you, parents. Thank you so much. Have a good Bye, day. Bye, ma'am. Bye -bye. Bye. 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 Are you? You were so good. Are you? Wow. Are you? You have to teach us. You have to teach my judges also someday. Divyanshi, <laughs> you were amazing. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Others stay back. Where is Tiana gone? Oh, she left by then. Okay. I'm going to tell, call her back. <laughs> uh.